Welcome to Woody's on the Road Adventures, episode 23. Bit of beach fishing, bit of rock fishing, not very many fish, a bit of fun. Stick around for the footage. Gorilla Beach, and I didn't put the two bites here just before, they're pretty hard charging bites, but yeah, well let's see what happens, eh? Beautiful beach, you've seen this all before in my last video, so I came here because the weather wasn't good for Thrill, wasn't good for any other beach, but here, there you go, there's a rod going off over there, look at that go, bear with me folks, there you go ladies and gentlemen, one Australian salmon, just taken when you saw that bite just before. Nice bread and butter fish. Big fish actually, good size this fella. Taken, filtered, and just a standard running sinker. Good fish. We still have the other rod out there. Nothing happening, but yeah, what did you just say? Catch, good fight. Get him off the hook, bleeding. There's dinner. Thank okay, you for more, folks. Well, there you go, the rods, folks. Little green lights you can see are the glow lights on the tip of them. Beautiful sunset here on Gorilla Beach. Now onto the yellow tail fellas. So uh, let's see if we pick up a, a nice chew. Can you see everything's going into darkness? We even got a beautiful moon rise tonight. Up there. And that's on me shaking folks, that's the wind again. It's pretty blowy down here. I'm trying to hold it both ends so it doesn't shake around like mad. Keep it close to me. Yeah. So that's a beautiful spot down here. So if we can get off the rocks tomorrow and you know, we'll probably be back at that calamitous place that we were at the other day. There goes a nice bird pass, as you can see. I'll keep track of him for two seconds. There we go. Yeah. Only living hope that we get a couple more fish tonight. Getting low on bait now, so we just never know your luck. Yep. We've got a Another one of those shovel nose shark tonight, so you know they can go in the pot. Australian salmon, so we haven't done too bad. So folks, stay tuned for more from Woody's on the Road Adventures. Don't forget, you can become a Patreon. It helps me make these videos. Uh, I've got to mention a couple of names who actually sponsored me a bit of fuel for this video. They wanted me to do another one, so I said I can't this fortnight. I have you know, a big power bill, and they said, no, no, here's $100. So that came from KA Productions themselves. So a bit of sponsorship there always helps. Uh, stick around, stay tuned for more, and don't forget, I'll be doing that boat up very short, very, very, very soon. We'll be doing the SV Escape to Paradise. Tight lines, folks, and enjoy. Just gonna let you listen to that sound. What a beautiful sound. Sound. Just magical. Sound of the waves in the dark. Well, just here, I actually actually got rid of the uh, audio for this section of the tape. What happened? Um, every time you touch 
the GoPro on the head, it sounds like you're trying to kill somebody. The sound is just horrendous. So I'll just do voiceover. What I'm doing here is I'm ringing up uh, one of the rods uh, to fishy top, because I've fished a surface before out of these rocks and caught salmon, bonito, kingfish, um, actually tuna as well. Many years ago I used to get yelping tuna and uh, salmon blues off the rocks here. That was going back when I was 18 as a land-based game fisherman. This is just for a bit of fun, just to try and catch a bit of extra feed. So I'll let you watch the video here and you'll see what I'm doing. Preparing the bait, half inch around the pilly, and getting it ready to go. There we go, one pilch it. The main line for this reel is a 50 pound braid with a 40 pound black magic leader and just casting out there probably around about the 30 40 meter mark and don't forget always set your drag because you want the big ones and there you go this location been to a number of times and not caught very much but you know you live in hope All that gear that was on the for the Robbie's there, I moved a little bit later on in the video. You'll see that. Rigging this up a rod up, I actually picked this rod up really, really cheap from a second hand place. Um, so it's a Sil Star. Uh, the end was cut off, so I re I put new runners on it. Teaming it up with my Grand Slammy pen there, um, which has got 60 pound braid. And again, run it down to a running sinker, a spoon sinker, with a 40 pound Black Magic leader as well. A beautiful reel, this. That other rod is a custom made on a uh, Butterworth blank. Just gonna, that's a spin stick that I use for if I ever see anything on the surface with the soft plastics. Away from the platform, away from where waves can get you. A firm believer the life jacket is probably more detrimental to your health here than what it would be, you know, to save you, because you're just going to land on that platform down there and bounce and be dead anyway before you get back in there. Like, if you look opposite there, you see that platform rope opposite, yeah, you'd wear a life jacket down there because the waves can wash over and drag you in. Definitely wear a life jacket over there. It's a beautiful morning, but around that other point there, gee, she was blowing. It was blowing a good 25 knots out there, so that's why I ended up around here. But you'll see later on in the video footage, it had calmed down immensely when I looked around the corner. Uh, you can see in the drone footage there was people actually fishing where I wanted to go to. I'm just describing what I'm doing with the rod here and yeah, you can see for yourself. It was a very quiet day. I'm not very much around. Not very, I'm not a lot of bites. Yep, I dropped the black magic on the floor. That was really intelligent. Sometimes the cameras don't give a good observation on what the seas are doing, but today is pretty good. It's shown that the seas are very calm. The 
And so that sinker, I made those sinkers with my brother many years ago. Um, we used to have about 60 or 70 of them. But over the time, they've down, I'm down to four now, so I'll have to start making some new ones soon. A little spoon sinker of about three, three ounces of lead. Swivels attached, very good. So you're going to use, commonly used off the rocks because you can actually, as you're retrieving them, they sort of wash themselves up, flick themselves up like a lure. So, oh yeah, don't look at that. I actually have to fix it up uh, later on in the video, which you don't see. I'm just sorry I couldn't take any footage of what we caught. I uh, got a six foot port jacko, port jackson shark, not long after this, which I released. And yeah, just the camera ran out of battery, so I had to look for another battery for the GoPro, which was in the bottom of the bag. By that time, it was already over. Them behind the platform so that I could be safe walking around. Yeah, what I'm looking for there is there's supposed to be a scissor mode on that knife and it does look a bit strange just standing staring at the knife looking a bit weird but yeah i was actually trying to find the scissor mechanism but yeah i just decided just to cut and that knife is as blunt as anything so it's got to be resharpened before the next trip i just hope on the next trip i can actually get you some fish you know this is yellowtail courtesy of the San Rocco star in Wollongong, Rocco Riani. Um, every now and again I'll go up there and see him and he'll give me a few yellow tail to use as bait. Good bait, great bait for snapper. Well, a good all around bait really. Live baits, for kingfish, tuna, uh, marlin. I've actually used them off the beach and caught jewfish. So, it's a good all around bait. That other rod there is another seal star with the smaller version of the pen reels. Yes, and I am also was wiping my hands. Hey, she's all ready to go, all rigged up. And we're ready to ready to roll. The average cast off here, um, you probably can't see it in the camera, but there's a, a lobster pot boy out there, he's about 80 metres out. I'm chucking it about 15 metres behind that, so getting a good 65 metre cast and with no real effort. So not a bad casting rod at all even though she's solid. And then that just seems to keep the rod nice and still there. It's not a bad, not a bad position to put the rod into. Keeps it off the barnacles down below and yeah. This is where I'm just relocating all the gear. I 
you wouldn't believe how heavy that backpack actually is. You're up around the uh, 15 kilo mark. You go the other way. That's a better cast, and the pilly's still there this time. <coughs> Does help to try and keep the pilly on your hook. He's a commercial fisherman for the... And we just kind of lost another bobby call, I think. But anyway, I'll just go back off the bottom then. Yeah, looks like I lost him. No, we didn't. Beautiful thing about Braid. There's a commercial fisherman anyway over there. That guy, he fishes for lobsters. And I don't know, as I said, folks if you can see over there in the distance. That's why I've left the other rod out. So he'll come over here in a minute, he'll go further up. There's a pot there, and there's a pot there. And just uh, get a line over alongside it. Wakely goes out that swing and we'll try to leave bring that line and there you go, the bobby corks back out in the water. So today we a lot of editing to get this video right. Yeah, as you can see him over there, he's a commercial lobster boat. drone footage um, this is just above the platform that I was fishing and looking a little bit further west from there as you can see the little bay down there it gives you a bit more into insight as to you know why I stated that this this spot's good about a life jacket the one opposite you just saw before no never you wear a life jacket down there all the time that's so you don't die you know, a big wave comes over and rolls you in. Let's look at North over the top of Kiama there now. Through to one of the cavern parks there near the beach. Up and around towards Celibate Mountain in a minute. You'll see Celibate Mountain. There it is. And that's the Princess Highway over there in the distance that you can keep going further south. It's a beautiful picturesque region just here. And in the distance there in the shadows, you can just see Jarvis Bay's headlands like point perpendicular.
really beautiful footage here. Now I'm an accredited pilot, it's even better. I can actually, I just log my hours in my logbook of the time I was up flying. There's actually guys fishing off that point. It's a nice calm day, so it's pretty safe. All the footage, this is further up, I just took the drone, I flew it over the top, the hill, looking down at my old spot, the spot I wanted to go, but as you can see, early on that sea was white cappy and rough, and it settled down to beautiful conditions, but as you can see, there's people down there, you see a guy in the red jumper or jacket down there, that's where I normally fish, off that rock point just there. So I wouldn't have got there this time. But that's not to say next time. That spot produces a lot of big kingfish, a lot of big salmon, a lot of big bonito, and some really beautiful snapper. Just over here, there's another rock platform just there, which is equally as good. Um, throw to the left, you get groper, rock blackfish, black drummer, and silver drummer. But yes, it's just, it's Kaima. Just where that little rock, the little island thing is there. Quite a few years ago, a friend and I rescued a gentleman from there who got washed in off the point. It's just a little bit of farmland looking back towards the rocks. I'm actually in that black shape you see near the little gate there. my car, you can see that one to the left, to the right. I was also looking for other platforms to fish, and that one there looks pretty good. It's pretty high out of the water, but yeah, I reckon you could get there and have a go. I really think you could probably fish in these, some of these locations. I'm going to go and have a good look one day. There's the ocean, that's where I belong. And that's where Escape and I will be in about a year. Well, there too, I think, will be a good platform on that high rock. I just love these rock platforms down this southern end of the Kayama of New South Wales. That's also, I decided to go back and have a quick glance at this platform. I reckon it'd be pretty good. That's the water centre of the screen. Just there, it's like a little rocky knob sitting out. Be about 10 metres above the sea. So you'll have to get a cliff gap to um, land the fish. And just then I said, that's the other spot I'm thinking. You can drag the fish up onto that ledge there, and again with the cliff gaff, drag the fish up. You'll get good snapper there.
And don't forget, for real-time updates, look me up, Clive Wood, on Facebook. Well, this is a walkout, folks. Out there, there's dolphins. Yep, time to walk. Yeah, a bit of puffing and blowing coming up here. But, I'm totally unfit these days. See, a bucket full of bloody rubbish too. And you've got to go through the bog. You just got to pick your spot, yuck. Oh, you just got to keep walking and hope to God you get through without sinking. So that was it. As I said before, you can look me up on uh, Patreon. SB Escape on Paradise. For real-time updates, that's where uh, you'll get them. And you can join me on Patreon there. As one of my patrons, Pay Chris Jansen, uh, number one, m &H Transport and KA Productions. They all support me, but they do it privately without going to the Patreon page. I prefer people, if you want to join me, join me up on there. And for other real-time updates, uh, look me up on Facebook as Clive Wood. This is just a picturesque Kaima Harbour. A very beautiful little harbour. Nestled down there just before the blowhole over there with the lighthouses so hope you enjoy if you like my videos hit that like button and subscribe and yeah become a patron for real-time updates as I said before and stick around for more there's plenty more videos coming up hopefully we have a lot more fish on them to show you because at the moment for some reason I'm on a bit of a drought off the rocks get plenty off the beach but not a lot off the rocks we're hoping we're going to make that change got the photos here taken from the drone just want to show you that's just off the rocky point there with the headland just looking out to the beautiful sunrise and it was just taking that photo, it looked really good. That last about 15 seconds on the screen for you. Just looking back north towards Kayama. reason we got that photo on twice. Ah, oh well, there you go, you get to see it all over again. And just remember, hit that like button, subscribe, join me on Patreon, become a supporter, and stay tuned, and my favourite saying is, enjoy! Stay tuned for episode 24 of Woody's on the Road Adventures, which will probably be some of the rebuild of SV Escape. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye now.